Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as we said before, we're going to get started on a battery upgrade. Uh, we're not getting rid of these batteries, we're just going to add to them. And uh, as you can see right here, we have six more EG4 batteries. So we're going to have a total of 18 server rack batteries. We have another cabinet. The only thing about until we get our shed built, uh, we have to kind of put them where we can put them. In here this is where the washer and dryer goes so we've got two cabinets here and as you go into the bedroom there's another one right here i'm just going to drill a hole through the wall here and run the positive in the ground over here to the bus bars that's the best way we can do it for now until we get the shed built and all this stuff is coming out going into the shed we're going to build a basically a power shed basically is what we're going to build but with that being said i've got to fix my lead wires and i still buy everything in 24 volt i well i'm in my batteries I buy my batteries 24 volt batteries and then i gotta build you know three little jumper wires to, to make the 48 volt system with it and uh, i gotta make those uh, other than that i have my crimping tools here my little crimps that i need um I, I pretty much have everything just take a few minutes to hook it up and then i gotta take these out of the box and put them in the cabinet ready paint it real hard no don't paint your fingers ready go ah good job bro. this right here is six foot it's already got the ends on each end but I only need it in two foot sections. Then I gotta put ends on it again to hook you know, my jumpers from battery to battery for my series connection on my batteries. Ready? Go. Oh moly, okay. Holy uh, moly. Huh. Holy moly, rock a rolly. Holy moly, rock a rolly. Okay. There's our three jumpers from battery to battery to bit to do our 48 volt. Serious connections right there. Right, is, this is two gauge wires, in case you might want. Like I said, this will make 18 batteries, 18 24 volt batteries. There's six in each cabinet. There's six more right here on the floor, so I'm going that new cabinet in there. We'll show it. Well, we didn't show it, didn't we? But anyway, we'll show it as we put it together. We'll show more about it. This will make 30, 60, 90 kilowatts of storage at 1800 amp hours. So that, that's, that's really overkill. 3512. Yeah. Wow. Okay, sitting right here. I'm going to get some ice in. Okay. Can I spin it right around? Like that. Like that. Yeah. And it's not going anywhere. Okay. Spin it around. Come on. I crimp them twice. I have to do it one uh, way. And then spin it all the way around and do it again. Yeah, good. I do have shrink wrap, but I just prefer to use this 3M tape. Pablo, can I help you tape it? Yeah. You do one real. Dig around one time. Right there, just like that right there. Yeah, like that right there. Okay. One more time. You're doing good. Then you can take the next one. Ready? One more. Right there. Okay. Cut him off, Daddy. I ordered a bunch of these off of yeah. Amazon. So I'd have a bunch of them. This is for the big wire. It's probably cheaper to get them on Amazon, too. It is. It's way cheaper. Because these right here is... Fifteen dollars. Uh, no, these two things right here is like seven dollars. Yeah. At the uh, um, Royal King, like seven or eight dollars just for two of them. Yeah, I don't get eight dollars. And I ordered. It was either twenty or thirty in a pack for ten dollars on Amazon. Yeah. Ten dollars. It might have went up by now. I don't know, but that's what it's. Crimping it, crimping it once would really be enough, but I like to do it twice, just to have it. 
that's a whole lot of juice going through these batteries. That's 18 of these batteries is a lot of juice. Okay. Here's how it looks when I crimp it. I crimp it twice, clamps it all the way around. And it's not going anywhere. Like I said, I have shrink wrap, but I just prefer to use the 3M tape because it works just as good. I've seen people have these little, uh, for, instead of this right here, they have like a little block thing. They set down, they stick the wire, and then they hit it with a hammer. Mm -hmm. If they was to buy one of these, they'd throw a hammer and creep. Because I'm telling you, this right here is the way to go. They just break it. I've crimped a lot of wires with this and I only gave like 30 bucks for this whole thing. This whole kit. It comes with all the dies for different size wires and all that. Really just depends if you're gonna get your money's worth out of it. Oh I've definitely you have, yeah. I've definitely got my money's worth out of it. Because I built three or four solar systems with it so far. I did the mmm. I've been with every single one hand. Yep. Are we ready to cut it yet? Not yet. We've got to get a couple more rolls down through here like that. Okay. All right, keep going. You do a couple more. It won't hurt nothing. We won't hurt again. Nah, it won't hurt nothing. All the way at the end. All right, now do it. Oh, good job, bud. The negative is up here on the top on this side, comes down, and the positive is on the bottom on this side. They go up and through the side. And we just brought them through the wall right here for now. Then come straight over and hook onto these bus bars. So that's kind of where we're at. We're going to put the batteries in now. We'll get all these screwed down and we'll come back on this. Okay. Just feed it right through here. And I don't care to work on this stuff on its own. Don't do as I do. You should turn the power off. Uh, we can't. Here comes the fun part. This is one of bites. So for real though, you're supposed to turn the power off when you're messing with the ship. So it can be very dangerous. I'm kind of hoping it ain't very dangerous right now. But hey. Okay. So far so good. We got all the batteries hooked up. But what I went ahead and done, these batteries here, like I said, are, they're down to 95% right now. So I don't know if you can hear or not, but the generator's running in the background and the charge burner's running. So I'm gonna top these off to 
and then I'll turn the new batteries on because I want everything to be at 100% before they all come online with each other. I don't want nothing off. We'll get, those, we'll get these back to 100% and I'll kick all those batteries on. Like I said, I buy 24 volt batteries simply because uh, we have other 20 vo 24 volt inverters. So like if the 48 volt goes down, we can switch right back to 24. I have the option of going 24 or 48. That's the reason I'm buying these batteries here. So like I said, I go battery to battery, then battery to battery, then battery to battery. That makes three basically 48 volt batteries. Uh, but if you do the math, it's technically six 48 volt batteries. If you do the math and all that crap, but either way. So what we have here is 306090 kilowatts of storage, battery storage. And that's pretty major. And 1800 amp hours of batteries. Now it was 1200. Now it's 1800. So once we get those charged to 100, I'll kick these on. Uh, as far as our solar system, that's all the batteries. I mean, that's overkill. That's more than batteries than we'll need. This will be enough batteries to run the house and the shop when I get the shop built. But I do plan on going with two of the, the 12,000 XP EG4 inverters. That'd be 24,000. Uh, I do plan on upgrading this to those, but not anytime soon. It'll be, be a little out. We're going to get the shed built first. And then I'll uh, change this out for the two 12,000 XP's. I'll have two of those. We got the new six batteries in and hooked up. And I turned them on last night. I didn't film on that uh, because it was real late. It was like three o'clock in the morning when we got done. So I, I didn't feel like getting out the camera for all that. But anyway, everything is 100% charged right now. All 18 AG4 server rack batteries. They're 24 volt batteries, series to make 48 volt. They're all 100% charged right now, all 18 of them. Uh, and then everything here is on float or rest or whatever. This, this morning when we got up, the sun actually came out for a little while. And it's, let me see what time it is now. It's 1.30 right now, and the battery was 100% charged at, let's say, 1 o'clock. About 30 minutes ago, those topped off. So I was kind of waiting for them to get topped off to make sure everything kind of balanced out and everything. But as of right now, I know whenever I turned uh, the generator off last night uh, and turned this AG4 off last night, that these batteries was at 100%. I didn't turn those on yet. And I come down here and I turned those on and got them all going. And from, say, 3.30 till 9.30, 10 o'clock this morning, it went from 100% to 99%. So, I mean, but I can't really say that's 100% accurate because I didn't have that thing in there. Uh, uh, I guess uh, leveled out and all that stuff, but I mean, if that's the case, that's that's pretty, that's very impressive. So, all right, guys, as you can see, it's 100%. Turn clicking on. Well, I can't really tell now, but anyway, it's 1800 amp hours right there at 100%. I will be uh, bringing in a ground from in there from my ground block in here to on the box on the this here. I'll be doing that later. I'm not worried about it right now. Uh, but once again, I'll show you how I've done it. These two batteries are series together right here. This goes down here. Negative to positive on the two batteries. And you got a positive and a negative. And that makes one battery. Same way with them two, same way with them two. So basically I've got three 48 volt batteries here. That's probably gonna do it for this video. We're just installing the new batteries, getting those in service, getting them working and stuff like that. And uh, we wanted to document it and show everybody and that way we can kind of look back on it too. I wanna thank Signature Solar for partnering with us on these batteries. That that's that's a game changer for us and the way we live we live 100% on solar and uh, I do want to say that my opinion alone is uh, you can have the best of everything but if you ain't got a good battery bank your, your solar system you're not going to be happy with it you're going to be complaining about it all the time you just really can't you won't get the full effects of it but the off grid living if if you don't have a good battery bank that's just my opinion we live normal everything electric so. But we do have a pretty major battery back too. We have 18 of these server rack batteries now. So, but anyway, guys, like I said, I want to thank Signature Solar for sending them out. And all the links for everything that we use will be in the description down below. And one other thing is we will be upgrading. It'll be a while. I'm not in a hurry to do it because this is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. But I do want to go with two of the 12,000 XP inverters, the off-grid inverters, because we're going to be building the shop and I want to power everything off, our, off this solar system. And that's more more than sufficient. So, but anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll we'll catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, watch our videos. Bye.